Tonight, the grieving family of a 16-year-old boy is demanding answers after his burned body was found in a trailer. Miguel Melendez was killed in a fire in East Palo Alto last month. His body wasn't identified until last week. KPI X5's Devin Feely on the family's desperate attempt to find out what happened. Devin? Yeah, well, in addition to the very understandable grief and heartbreak that this family is feeling, they say they're also experiencing a fair share of frustration. They say that they have brought the police vital information about the case, and now they want answers. I just want justice for my son. I just want the truth. I just want to know what happened. It is at best a cold comfort to wring those answers from the ashes of the once red hot fire that destroyed this abandoned trailer when the body of Jose Montez's stepson Miguel was found last month. He was a funny, outgoing person. Uh, he, was, uh, he was big in skateboarding. Um, that was his passion. The fire department was called after midnight on April 24 to this abandoned industrial site. It's also a popular hangout for East Palo Alto teens. Investigators say Miguel and several friends had reportedly been drinking. It's not clear how the fire started, but police say the teens scattered. And in the chaos and confusion, Miguel somehow got left behind. The family has a lot of questions, and we want to be able to answer 100% of the questions um, to give the family closure uh, either way. Uh, whether it was accidental or not. Outside Miguel's grandmother's house, family and friends have left photos and flowers, candles and well wishes. A growing memorial for a young man who would have celebrated his 17th birthday later this month, but whose family is instead planning a funeral and looking for the cold comfort of answers from the ashes. Miguel's family has scheduled his funeral for Thursday. They have also set up a GoFundMe page in hopes of getting some help with the cost of burial. In East Palo Alto, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.